Hi, in this video, I will show you some Git tips and tricks. I will show you some commands uh, that I think are very useful. I use some of these commands pretty much every day. So let's get started. So let's say you're working on the master branch and you want to create a new branch and switch to that branch. If you want to do that in just one command, you can type this, git checkout, that should be and the name of the new branch. Let's call this one develop. So we are now in the develop branch. If we do that in two commands, it will be something like, like this and git checkout test. So we save some time doing just one command. And if you want to go back to the previous branch, we can type git checkout space dash. So we switch to the previous one like that. This is similar as when we use the cd space dash command. Okay, so now let's say we want to edit the some file in the project. Uh, let's update this title here. So now we have a modified file here in Git. So let's commit this change. So we type git commit at m. Uh, let's call this, uh, let's add this message update title. But after we uh, we do that, we realize that we use some kind of convention in our project and we need to add the, the ticket number to the message, to the commit message. So what we can do is use another option for the commit uh, command and it's amend. So now we can add the ticket number here and enter and if we check the log we can see we only have the previous commit so that means we, we updated the previous commit okay so now let's say we are updating this file again um, let's say we change this title here, this header. And now we have a modified file. But um, let's, let's say something happened in production and we just need to quickly fix some bug. Um, but we don't want to commit this change as it is right now. We want to basically um, finish that work. So what we can do is use git stash. So we type git stash. So now we have a clean stage, nothing here. So we can work on any other thing. Let's say we switch to master. Uh, we basically create a, a hotfix or whatever. But let's uh, suppose that we did do something there. So we can come back to our branch. And if we type git stash list, we can see we have this change here. So if we want to apply this, this change that is in this, uh, in this list, we can just type git stash pop. It will take that chain and, and apply it to our current uh, working uh, directory. And we can continue with our work here. But let's say we just want to discard this change. We can type git space checkout index.html and basically the change will be gone 
if we load our file here this will be removed okay so now let's look at another command so let's say we modify the same file and we change this title again and we can see the change here and if we type git diff we can see what was modified this line here and let's say we add that change to the index we stage that change we can see here this is basically ready to be committed so if we type git diff we will notice that we won't see any difference so in this case what we need to do is to add the option staged and that way we can see the difference on files that are already staged and that's it for this video if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't thanks for watching